Hi, I'm David, CEO of I Do Recall. I'd like to introduce you to a very important new feature that we've just released called Redaction Mode. Historically, I Do Recall has had only one type of flashcard, or what we call a recall, and it is an open-ended question and answer type flashcard. But now with Redaction Mode, you can create what are known in other apps as closed deletion and image occlusion type flashcards. Let me show you how this works. I've just dropped an image into the question field of a recall, and to go to redaction mode, I will simply click here. We have entered redaction mode, and you are now looking at the redaction composer. It's very simple to operate. You enter a title in here. The title that you enter is what is seen in your recalls list. You simply decide what areas of the image you want to mask or redact and drag redaction rectangles over those areas. Now, if I stopped right here and I click Save Three Recalls, I would indeed create three individual recalls that will all be managed separately by the I Do Recall Space Repetition Algorithm. There will be one flashcard for parietal where you would be asked in practice to guess what is behind this redacted area, another one for occipital, and another one for zygomatic. Now, if you wanted, you could create one single recall by clicking here for progressive mode. Notice that it's only going to save one recall, and that one recall will be shown to you in a way where you progressively unmask each redaction after you think of the answer. You can select redaction rectangles by clicking on them, and to select them by clicking again. Let's select all of them. One, two, and three. Once selected, I can merge them. Notice that now they're all numbered 1 instead of 1, 2, and 3. Now I will split them back, and now they're back to 1, 2, and 3. I could select this one and I could delete it, and I can recreate it very easily because we're in progressive mode. Again, we're creating only a single recall. Let's save this progressive recall and see how it looks in practice. Here is our single progressive recall with three redacted labels. The one with the green border is the first one to recall from memory. After I recall the answer, I will click to unmask it. Then I will do the same for the next one, and finally for the final redaction. At this point, I am taken to the back of the recall where I can rate my performance. If this had not been a progressive recall, the three redactions would have created three unique recalls that would appear in my recalls list and would be managed independent of each other by the spaced repetition algorithm. Redaction mode can handle creation of recalls based on a single image or a string of text. It can't take a combination of text and an image into the composer. The handling of text is analogous to what I have demonstrated for images. There is no title needed for text redaction recalls. The string of text will be displayed in your recalls list, but will be redacted in the list so not to give you the answers when you look at your recalls list. The redacted words will be displayed as underlines with the text that is the answer for that recall displayed as asterisks. 